Howdy y'all, my name is Prince. welcome to some more Slime Rancher! We are back, hello, hello, good to see all of y'all. So, we just had the new Mochi's Mega Bucks update drop last week, we played through that, we checked that out, and I was thinking to myself, you know, it's been a long time since I've played Slime Rancher, and I know a lot of y'all are here because you like Slime Rancher, a lot of y'all are here because you liked my role-playing series that I did with um, Slime Rancher, which I know I still haven't finished, and honestly, it's going to be a difficult thing to finish that one. We might have to table that um, until, I don't know, something. I wanted to use some mods and stuff, and it didn't end up working out, and so it made it very difficult to continue. We'll see, but I don't have the time for a series like that. I'm working on the series on the main channel, so instead, uh, I just wanted to start a brand new Slime Rancher series. No gimmicks, no, you know, um, free range challenge, no anything like that. We are just gonna play some straight up Slime Rancher. This is Slime Rancher, a series in which you play Slime Rancher. How does that sound? All right, we're gonna do a new game. Let's pick a uh, icon here. We're gonna pick the good old Hunter Slime. And our goal is gonna be pretty simple. We wanna make it through everything in Slime Rancher. We want to um, make it through, get all of our science up, get uh, everything uh, going. We want to unlock every area. We want to get Mochi's Megabucks area all the way through. We want to get Ogden's Ranch all the way through. So we're going to try and do a little bit of everything throughout this. We're just going to call this um, Slime Rancher uh, Full Play. All right, and we're just going to we're just going to go through it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and release episodes every day. That's going to be the big thing. So if you like Slime Rancher from me, I'm going to be trying to do this every day. Here we go. A thousand light years away from Earth, on a planet known as the Far Far Range, Beatrix LeBeau begins her first day as a Slime Rancher. Aw, yeah, y'all. Day one of many. All right. We know how to play this game. Wazzed to move. Let's vacuum up some slimes. Get over here. Get over here, Pinky. Hop, ship, jump, ba boop, boop, boop. All right, what do we got? See a little chickadee over there. How to vac like a rancher. Oh, I know how to vac like a rancher, let me tell you. Picking up a hen hen. Launched! Okay, what else you want me to do before I leave? Because you always got to do a couple of things before you leave. Select vac tank, mouse wheel, shoot, bing, oh, bing. Okay, let's get some carrots. I think we got to feed them first, right? Do, 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 do. Tasty food acquired. Select it. Fire it. Feed these slimies. Give me a little bit of monies. All right, give me them plorts. Oh man, starting at the beginning, it's always crazy. When slimes eat plorts, they make they make plorts, and you make money. Yeah, let's sell them. Ooh, look at all this, man. Look at all this. All right, that about covers the basics. Okay, y'all. So first things first, we want to get ourselves some nice high quality slime friends. Uh, we don't really necessarily need the pink slimes. Let's get all the food that we can get, that's for sure. And I think what we're gonna want to start with, we're gonna want to get ourselves some um, Largos, of course. Give me them pogo fruits. Give me all the food. We're gonna grab all the free uh, plorts that we can, of course. But uh, otherwise, we're looking for, I guess I want to get some rock slimes, that'd be nice. If we could do rock tabbies, that's a good starter, or rock um, phosphors. Although we gotta worry about the sunlight with the phosphors. Uh, we don't have the cave unlocked. So I think we're gonna probably go for like rock tabbies to start with. It's a pretty solid combo. We got our uh, big dude over there that we'll feed eventually. But right now, we're just looking for some do 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 Largo times. Yeah, come here y'all. Give me all your stuffs. Now we could go for pink, but the thing is like, until we get science, we don't really need pink slimes. Let's get our map node going. For those of y'all who are maybe new here on the channel, I play a lot of Slime Rancher. There are a lot of series of it that I have completed. Um, and so uh, if you're looking for anything specific about this game, uh, I got a, I probably got a series for you. If you've been here for a while and you know the drill, then you already know all the info. You know where everything is. So, you know, welcome back. Um, let's go ahead and let's head over this way. We're going to just be checking out here. We got some mail to read, obviously, as you start with, always. Now, what I could do... Hmm. You know what? For now, we're not going to worry about it. Heartbeats spawn over there, so we could go get ourselves some heartbeats. But we're going to get ourselves a couple more tabbies. I think if we can get up to, like, maybe 10 uh, rock tabbies, then I think we're going to be in a good position. So I'm grabbing a little bit of each. I'm going to have to feed these rock slimes and then let the tabbies eat those. 
and then uh, etc. Got that big dude to feed. All right, but we don't have any, um, what you call them. We don't have any chickens to feed him with anyway. So we got plenty of carrots on us, though. A little stony hen over there. Might want to breed some of them. But uh, let's just head on back, sell these couple plorts that we got, and uh, let's get our ranch going. Because if we can get ourselves a garden plot soon, that would definitely help us out. I'd appreciate that. Um, and then as far as expanding out, where would I like to go first? Indigo quarry or into a da jungle? The moss blanket. I'm not sure. Um, well, we'll think on it. No, we're gonna just kind of take it easy. I've been. I'm trying to keep this series simple. I always get a little ahead of myself with Slime Rancher. Those of you who've been here for a while, you know. I always like to like turn it into a challenge, try and get through something fast. But I figure let's just do it. You know, nice and slow and casual. So what do we got here from Hobson? Uh, Hello, Beatrix. The name's Hobson. Actually, you know what? I think I realized last time he's actually not supposed to sound like that kind of guy, like Nigel Thornberry. He's supposed to be, like, a rancher, right? So, <clears throat> hello, Beatrix. Name's Hobson Twilligers. Rancher, explorer, and the former owner of this here ranch you now call your own. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I was a rancher for more years than I can remember. Felt there was one last adventure left in me, so I've set off to find just that. But before I go, I'm taking one last tour around this here land I love. So keep your peepers peeled for notes like these if you want to hear what an old coot has to say every now and again. Be talking to you, H. So Hobson used to own this ranch. We have now gotten it from him, and it's our duty to bring it up to massive success. Let's check the uh, the old market here. It's offline for now. That's right. We'll get it, I think, tomorrow. It comes back online. So um, I'm going to do this real quick. Okay. Let's get these dudes out of here. Come here. All right. Sorry, pinkies. We don't need you right now. Let's get the tabbies in there. And let's get a little bit of carrots going on in there just to try and feed all of them. Because what should happen is the rock guys should eat those, and then the tabbies should eat those, and then they should eat the carrots, and then it'll be a whole thing. Let's sell these plorts. All right. But yeah, y'all, it's been so long since I played this game just just straight up. I'm usually so uh, focused on making sure it's got to be some new kind of crazy thing. What do we got over here? Water tank, jetpack, heart module, power core, tank booster is incredible. But first, let's upgrade this area. We definitely want some some high walls. That's like a must when you have these dudes. Auto feeder would be nice. Air net's probably more important. But come on, y'all. Eat some carrots, huh? Y'all just aren't hungry, huh? Well, we'll leave this here then with all the carrots on the ground. And we're just going to run back out here and uh, see what else we can't do. Hopefully I don't come back to some tars because of all these pink slimes. Come on. Come on! There we go. Oh, hold on. I know your tricks, little pink slime. You can try and get up in there. I hear a little, little peeping dude, too. A little, little cheap cheap. All right, y'all get out here. Live with your friends. Okay, let's see if we can't find some more food out here. A couple little spots over here. And then if we can find some... Um, if I can get those heartbeats, like I had said before, we might grow ourselves some heartbeats to just try and get a little bit ahead when it comes to the uh, the food game. Because if we can grow our own heartbeats, we'll get double duty from our uh, rock tabbies, and that's going to help us out a lot. And we'll read mail before we go to bed, so uh, no worries. We will get to that. Okay. We could also start feeding this dude. It wouldn't cost us too much. Um, grab all these pogo fruit. There's also the... Um, what you call him? The uh, phosphor one in the cave that we could also feed. Oh yeah, look at all these. Oh, that'll do. That'll do, pig. Okay. Well, let's head on over this way then. Might as well get started on the feed. Got some. Got a hen hen to feed him as well. So that'll work. All right, buddy. Here you go. I think he takes about 30 food points, something like that. All right, let's grab all these. And we just gave him about 20. So we should be close. Oh, well, don't miss. If you don't miss, then you might succeed. All right. We might actually have enough here. Yep, I thought so. Keyberry's good. We can hold on to that. All right, we got ourselves our first slime key. We can go ahead and go into the next zone. Easy peasy, y'all. And that's usually a nice little thing uh, to get going earlier rather than later, because we can get ourselves a whole bunch of different types of slimes. Always great to have nice slime diversity. Um, so let's go ahead and get to that. 
Because now, if we can get into either the indigo quarry or the moss blanket, we can get ourselves something like crystal slimes or honey slimes. Oh yeah, I'm on board with that. Okay. I feel like I'm starting to talk like Hobson myself. It's the it's the whole Texas thing going on there. Alright. I didn't say you could have that, but that's fine. You can have it. Okie dokie. Got a couple poker fruits up there. It's not for y'all. It's for me. Okay. Getting a move on. Alright, so let's see what we can't make of this. Any of y'all? Yeah, okay, we got we got some plorts going around now. There we go. That's what we want to see. <laughs> Dust bunnies! They're the cutest. They're the cutest. Um, now, I'll try and use the names that we've come up with in the past, but I'm not going to focus too much on the names. I sometimes get a little ahead of myself on that. But I remember these guys because they're just like our old friend Doug. Oh, jeez. So good. All right. First things first, we're going to try and get them to... Um, all turn into Largo. So that's why I'm just moving the plorts around to get those last couple of rock slimes exposed to some tabby plorts. And then we can start selling them. Let's go sell these real quick. So now these guys, they're only going to be able to eat veggies. So that's something to think about. How much is a garden going to cost us? Garden plot. 250 Ah, oh, perfect. So we'll start our first garden over here. The farther away from them, the better, actually. So... Maybe we'll do it over on this spot. Um, this way we uh, keep them from trying to jump over and get to it, at least as much. Got any more carrots left in there? We'll start with, actually, you know what, no, no. I can, go, I can go get, I can go get a heartbeat. So let's get ourselves a heartbeat. Do, do, do. It's like there's plenty of carrots, which are great. It's like easy food. Um, but heartbeats are gonna give us double plorts. Just definitely something we want to get on. Okay. Can I reach this heartbeat up here, I wonder? Okay. Uh, almost. There we go. <laughs> I had a feeling. Boop. All I need is one. And this, this is the benefit of uh, having played this game so many times. I know where a lot of the stuff is. So that helps quite a bit. I built a garden. Well, ain't that special. So let's get some heartbeats growing. So this is going to be the first thing that we're really going to want to upgrade a ton. Um, just because that's going to help us tremendously in uh, getting up to speed. And we're just going to probably just focus on just the one set of slimes for now. But uh, who knows? We got our key, so I can maybe go into a new zone soon. So I'm just going to do this real quick. All right? Oh! Yay! Yeah, grab that! No, no, no. Come for it. Come here. Come here. Come here. here I'll, I'll bring it to you. Come here, buddy. There you go. All right, now get back in there. Wee! Wait, too far. <laughs> get over here. But don't get stuck underground like Doug. Well, I mean, he I think Doug liked being underground, but, you know, that's different. All right, let's uh, get everything over here. I just want to make sure I'm getting all them plorts. All right. Let's give you all the food again. All right, we'll grab the rest of it in the morning. Uh, now, as far as the rest of this fruit, I got or food, I got some... Some pogo fruit, I got some cube berries. We'll feed those to the um, phosphor gordo, I think. So let's go ahead, let's go to bed, and let's uh, check our mail. So what do we got? Rise and shine from Casey. Casey, hi Bia. What's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what's that like, or what that's like. 7Z puts you in a pod and then lights out for all that time? Wow, what's the far, far range like? Have you started exploring? Is the air as clear as they say? I bet it's really beautiful. I'm, I'm probably asking too many questions. I, I, I bet you have a lot of work to do on that ranch. I still can't believe it's yours now. I, I guess I better leave you to it, and I'll just keep it short. Good luck, B. If anyone can make it out there, it's you. Casey. Good old Casey. From the 7Z Corporation. Welcome to the Far Far Range, the 7Z Corporation. Ms. LeBeau, the 7Z Corporation would like to welcome you to the Far Far Range. Welcome. And extend our support in your bold new ventures as a slime rancher. Support extended. We'd also like to request that you ex exercise caution in your first few days on the range. Till you get more familiar with your surroundings, traveling at night is not advisable. Lastly, should you require any additional tools for your backpack or items to make your slime ranching experience easier, the 7Z Corporation would be pleased to provide them to you from the shop located just outside your ranch house. 7Z Corporation, providing the tools you need to get the job done. For us, for a small fee. The 7Z Corporation. Alright, cool. Well, that's fine. 
Uh, we will sleep for the night. I will reset everything that's around. I'm not going for any, like, world records or anything. Okay. Yeah! Get to port making! Give me some money! Alright. Let's just wash all this around. Make sure they're all fed. And then... Just kind of do the old... The old swoosh move. Seems to work really well for me. I just kind of like... Get everything brought over into the corner. There we go. Yeah, okay. Come on. Last little plorts. And then you just go like this. This way you don't accidentally end up taking all the... Uh... Oh, you don't have enough space for anything. Come here. Doot! Yeah, grab all those. This way you don't end up bringing out the actual Largos themselves, but you're able to grab all this stuff. That's always been my little trick. You get in the corner, you get just outside of range. I might accidentally bring all the carrots out, but that's fine. All right, last floor. And then you don't have to go in there, because when you go in there, you get attacked. So we have 11. It looks like we have 11... Oh, wrong. <laughs> we have 11 um, slimes. It's 11 Largos. Let's keep that in mind. I thought I brought 10, but I must have accidentally grabbed an extra rock slime in there. But that's fine. 10's fine. All right. So first things first, let's get ourselves an air net on there just to prevent them from jumping out as easily. They can still jump out. They just got to bash the ceiling a couple times. Ooh. And our first little bit of heartbeats. Should have used that first. That's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and just launch these in here. They'll eat those as they get to them. And uh, we'll come back to a bunch of plorts. So the next thing I'd like on the... Um, on the slime corral would be to get some, um, get the, uh, plort collector. Plort collector is ace. Give me these chickens. I want to slowly start feeding that, uh, tabby gordo as well. But I might venture into, um, a new zone today. So I'm just trying to think which one do I want to go to first. I kind of feel like going to the indigo quarry. Just kind of feel like it. I don't know what it is, don't know why, I just feel like it. But we are gonna grab all this first. Oh, look at that, all fill up, good. Um, I just kinda like the Indigo Quarry a lot. Something about it makes me wanna go there. Let's go uh, into the Phosphor L Gordo's cave. I always mix up the words Largo and Gordo. This is where he's at. This ain't gonna be enough, uh, cause I think he needs 50 points. I think everyone except for the pink one needs 50. He might need 30, though. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's 50. But we just gave him 24 food points. So if you're confused about what I'm talking about when I say food points, each type of food... Oh, there's no way I'm getting in this way. Uh, I don't have the jetpack yet. Each type of food... Or each, each food that something eats is worth one food point, unless it's their favorite food, so it's worth double points. Um, that's why I, I say food points instead of just food. Um, that said... Um, 50 points ain't so bad. Now, I could open this gate, but uh, that would be a waste because uh, this just leads around to the back side of our ranch, and we can't even get to that side of our ranch yet uh, in order to make it a loop because um, we need to unlock one of our extra zones. So, you know. All right, we're about to see some TARS happening. There's way too much stuff around here. TARS are going to happen. So just be ready for that. All right, let's get all the hen hens that we can because I want to feed this dude over here. Oh, there's some more. Cluck, cluck. Cluck, cluck. Okay. And honestly, grabbing the... Um... Oh, I don't have space for regular hens. I was going to say, grabbing the chicks is not a bad idea because you can take the chicks and you can put them back there and then eventually they'll grow up and then you can just grab them later. Well, let's feed you. Now, these are favorites for the tabby, so each of these counts as two points. So I think that's about 12 points there. Another nine. Let's do... Oh, yep, we got some TARS. Okay. So, let's head back through here. Yep, sorry, y'all. There's nothing I can do. Well, okay, no, there is something I can do. Let's be good. Let's be good. Come here. Come here. Stupid TAR. No, you're not welcome here. Get out of here. Is there any more? No? Okay. What, what is that? <gasps> Hey! I didn't see that gold slime. But hey, we just got ourselves a gold plort. That's some free money right there, y'all. Normally, I'd be like, ooh, save it for some science. But we can't really take advantage of that yet. Let's see what Hobson had to say over here, though. I had a great big tree like this one here along the edge of my property back on Earth. It had been there before anyone could remember. It survived all kinds of change around it. And then one day, I began to notice it was dying. It wasn't anything unnatural. It was just its time, I suppose. 
And then I realized that if I didn't do something, I'd end up like that tree. I'd spend my whole life in the same place. I wasn't going to let that happen. So, I bought a ticket for the far, far range the very next day. H. I get it, man. Sometimes you need a little change of scenery. You need to mix things up, shake it up. Oh, I don't have space for you. Sorry, little buddy. Uh, okay. So, let's go ahead. Let's sell this gold plork, because that's going to give us some monies. Let's go check on our slimes. Maybe they've eaten again. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so like I said earlier, I'm aiming to try... Ooh, get, get the plorts if they're free. Um, I'm aiming to try and... Um, get episodes of this out every day. Uh, so I'm going to sit here and I'm going to record a bunch of them in one batch. So I'm not going to be able to see your comments when... Uh, at least not anytime soon, right? I'm going to do a big batch recording. Um, so if you have any suggestions or thoughts or anything like that, just know that I'm not going to get to them right away. But uh, I figure... This is something that I can keep up if I do it in these big batch recordings. I've kind of figured out a new way to try and get videos done a little bit quicker. Um, so just let me know what y'all think about that. Is that something that you like? Is that something that you want to see? Because uh, I do I do want to play this again. I'm not going to lie. It's been a long time. I really love this game. It's a great game. So I'm going to probably just play it for like four hours today and record all of it for y'all. And also for me. But also for y'all. But also for me. <laughs> all right, let's sell all this stuff. Give me the money! Oh, yeah. That's what I wish I had that uh, Mochi's Mega Bucks boost. All right, 742. Not bad. All right, let's get the Plore Collector. Ooh, and they have made us some stuff. I'm so happy. Oh, got a message from Thora. That means the range exchange is going to be online. That's great. Let's go read that. Uh, and can I afford this? Not quite, but we will once we pick up all those plorts. That'll be good. Let's go see what Thora has to say. Star Mail. Thora! Usually I give her, like, the old lady voice, but I'm going to give her just, like, a, a less... Usually I make her sound like a granny, but I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to... Thor West. Hi there, Beatrix. Name's Thor West. I'll keep my introduction short on account that we all got work to do. I'm a longtime rancher here in the Far Far Range, and head of the welcome wagon for your local range exchange. The range exchange is a network of ranchers just like yourself who are looking to trade what they got for what they need. Slimes, plorts, food, whatever. All you need to do is check out the range exchange machine daily and be sure to get your trade completed within 24 hours. As more ranchers get added to your network, you should receive a hearty hello from them, so just check your inbox. Well, enough jawing. We, go, well, we both got slimes to wrangle. Adios, Beatrix. Thora. All right. Return to ranch. Okay, let's go check what her first mission for us is. Uh, help me out here, and I'll make sure you get what's owed. All right, thank you, Thora. What do you need? Four tabby plorts and six cube berries. Cube berries might be a little tricky. We can definitely hit you up with these uh, tabby plorts, though. Okay, here's what I want to do. I want to get enough money to upgrade the soil over on my farm. And uh, if we can get the farm upgraded, and I've still got some tabby plorts left over, then I'll work on that challenge for you, Thora, which I think will be good. So I need six, I think, or maybe four. Well... Hopefully it's four, because I just spent most of them. Yeah, it's four. Yeah, let's go for it. And we'll try and do this. And the thing is, is we want to try and do these range exchange things. Specifically, we want to make sure that we do it for Ogden and that we do it for um, Mochi when they show up, because that'll allow us to get activation into, or get access to um, the Mochi's, the, what is it, Nimble Valley, and then Ogden's Ranch as well. So let's see. We can get both. Awesome. Nutrient soil and sprinkler. So now we're going to get way more out of this. We should be able to feed them with uh, enough heartbeats every day for all of them to eat and for us to get all of the plorts that we need. So that is wonderful. Um, for now, though, I will go grab a couple more carrots to feed them, and we're going to look for some Q-berries. And that'll be the end of this episode, I think, is once we kind of get back this time through. I can't make super long episodes, so they're probably going to be around 20 to 30 minutes, which I realize for, like, other YouTubers, that's actually, like, a super long video, <laughs> but uh, y'all know me. I, I do long videos, long form content. Now, give me, give me up over here. Okay, just grabbing some free carrots and plorts and things. I don't need no slimes. I don't need no slimes. Just give me them fruits. Uh, and then yeah, we're gonna next episode. I think we'll be focused on getting all the uh, getting a. Couple more slime combos together, some Largos, in order to get a diverse array of plorts, get some more gardens, get everything just jumping up. 
Uh, ooh, look at all them pogo fruits. We're gonna go feed that uh, phosphor largo again as well. Especially if we can get past these largos and get the fruit before they do. Man, I need to increase my running. I've been playing on the uh, that larger file, my file I've had for forever, where I just have like everything upgraded, all the money, all the everything. And so uh, running around with this much um, sprint is, uh, it's different, let me tell you. Okay, so the Q-berry spots that we're going to have access to, there's only just two of them. So that's why I'm kind of like, well, not so hopeful yet, because this one, they've been eating them. They, they will like rest under there constantly, and they will eat all of those. But it's also this spot. So I'm hoping, that one, two, just two. So there's no way that I'm going to get enough Q-berries for Thora, sadly. Um... Unless I were to plant a garden um, for them. But you know what? I think I'm just going to accept the loss. And we're going to move on past it. And uh, I'm going to go feed these. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No, you get out of here. Go ahead. You can bite me. Hey! <laughs> okay. Let's grab all these plorts. All these plorts. All right, you guys. Just try not to turn into Tars. You know, it's hard for me to take care of all of you. All right? Okay. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Wee! All right there, Phosphor buddy. You hungies? Okay. That's what I thought. It wasn't enough. It's close, though, I betcha. So, we'll head back now. I'll feed these carrots to my little slime boys, and uh, we're just going to move on um, for this episode. Next episode, like I said, we'll go into the Indigo Quarry. We'll get some more slimes. We'll start to unlock some stuff, and we'll slowly make our way back through this game that is one of my favorite games. It really is fantastic, and hopefully y'all are enjoying seeing this again. I know a lot of y'all like Slime Rancher content on the channel, and uh, I like providing it for you. Uh, oops. What am I doing going back to Oh, look! More Q-berries. Well, maybe I was a fool. How many are going to grow over here? If I'm down by two, I'm going to feel like a butt. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, I could have done it. <laughs> oh, well, that's what it is. Okay. Do, 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 do. But maybe with those couple more. Give me all these. Give me this. Maybe. Let's go feed our phosphor guy. Come on, Gordo. You hungies? I got some hungies for you. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Ah, oh, still not enough. He's, like, shaking, though, so he's about ready. Anyway, let's head back now this time. That time I was gonna head back, and then, like, I totally, like, wasn't thinking, and I went the wrong direction, and then I ended up there. But now, we, hey, look, we got some rock floors. These guys are angry. Oh, my gosh, I'm gonna die. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. I'm about to die. Wow, my HP went super low there. Whoo! Those guys are rude. Oh, no. There's one up here. He doesn't look angry, though. All right, he's fine. He's just a jelly boy. Okay, Jelly Boy, you're good. Let's head back this way. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> My goodness. You're, you're real fragile at the beginning of this game. I had forgotten. It's been so long since I've been back to, like, the early days. All right, y'all. Getting along in the ranch. Ooh, the dry reef. Okay. So peaceful and wonderful. Just look at, just look at everything. This game is gorgeous. This game is wonderful. How could, I, I, I I don't think I've ever met a person who doesn't like this game. But if there is if there are people out there who are like I don't get it, I don't get you, man. This game is wonderful. It's perfect. It's just so good. All right. How y'all doing? Did y'all make me some more stuff? Y'all still hungry? Any of y'all? Doesn't seem like it. I don't want to. Um... Oh, they did make some more ports though. That's good. I don't want to, like, uh, leave too many carrots in here because now we should be getting enough um, heartbeats that they can get pretty well fed off the heartbeats. Did we get any more heartbeats? Yes, we did. Because now we get, like, double heartbeats. So let's take all these veggies. And you know what we're going to do with the veggies? We're going to actually kind of save the carrots to use for... There's going to be a Largo in the next zone, in the Indigo Quarry. A couple of Largos that we're going to want to feed. And so we'll save those for them. Because we're doing that next episode. So let's get the last of our money. Let's get the last of our upgrades going for today. Probably want to get the jetpack. I think I actually know that I definitely want to get the jetpack. So let's get that. Jetpack. Okay. And then... Sadly can't do that. It's too late. 
Let's grab all these. And we're going to wait until morning and we'll feed them at the beginning of next episode. So, there's my heartbeats. Last of the money. Any upgrades I can get here? Auto feeder. Eh. Solar shields. We can't afford solar shields. But instead, because I don't think I need any of those right now necessarily, let's start getting our next corral. And let's work on another garden. Don't have enough for it quite yet. We will tomorrow. So we're going to start building up our other corral because we're going to come back from the indigo quarry with some, some slimes. We're going to need another garden to feed them. So it's going to be a whole deal. But y'all, for now... Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, please be sure to give this video a like, a favorite, and subscribe to the channel. My name has been Price, and I will see y'all next time!